have a simple project open up. Now, I want to show you the designer. So far, we've been working just specifically in this code editor, but the designer is just a button click away. And you can switch between text editor or form editor. You can use the middle mouse to move it around, control middle mouse, zoom in, zoom out. It's extremely cool. There's some basic parts that we're going to cover in future videos, but I wanted to really familiarize you with some of the basic components. You have your QML types, and you can also filter these. You can simply drag and drop, and you have the navigator. You notice how it immediately popped up. One little gotcha here is if you were to click off and you just try to select, sometimes that won't actually grab them. An example would be this little eyeball over here. Let's grab him and let's just check him. Suddenly it's gone and you can't select it. And you're like, oh no, where'd it go? You go in here and there's your rectangle and you go, oh, I know how to figure this out. And save and it's still gone. Hmm. Well, maybe it, it needs to be a bright color here. Nope, still gone. Where is it? And then you just click this again and voila, it's there. Notice we did the border color. We could have actually done this. And let's do that again. Dot, gone, but it's down here. So what is this? These are states. And if you click this button, you're gonna get an error. Boop, invalid properties. So that confuses a lot of people. Um, states are a little bit more advanced. But basically, you can take an object and have multiple states. For example, um, let's say you have a pet cat. The cat could be happy, it could be hungry, could be tired. Those are different states. Let's go back here. Whoop, there it is. And you can click this little guy, which will export a property at the root item. Graphically, it doesn't seem to do a whole lot. But if you flip into the text editor, this is what it does. It makes a property alias. We've seen that before. We click this and toggle it on or off. Very, very helpful. And of course, we can drag and drop this around. You'll get these little lines, see if I get one to snap up, which show you where the center is. Also, we have some layout. We can set anchors just a mouse click away. We can center it, we can, or I'm sorry, we can fill it, we can center it. And we have some advanced properties as well. Now, this editor is extremely powerful. On the surface, you're looking at this like, whoa, I don't understand what any of this stuff is. But once you start finding your way through, it's extremely powerful. What's up, everybody? This is Brian. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of a larger series out on Udemy.com called QML for Beginners. The QML for Beginners course assumes you know absolutely zero QML. You're just starting off, and it's designed specifically for Q5. I will re-record the entire series when Qt6 comes out and just know that it's over 100 videos and 13 and a half hours of video on demand. I'll put a link below so you can get a highly discounted rate. And before you dive in, just understand it covers a lot more than what I can put into this list. Everything from what's QML to animations to C++, integration, JavaScript, and on and on and on. But one of the requirements up front is you have to know Qt Core. You should have some C++ under your belt and be very familiar with Qt5. In case you have none of that, I do have some courses for Qt Core beginners, intermediate and advanced out on Udemy as well. Hope to see you there.